Price of Bitcoin exploding throughout the last few days. Are we going to just break out from this zone of the last few months and hit all time high, smash through it, bull run continuation? Or are we going to start getting some resistance points, guys? I'm going to explain the levels of confluence, the sign of strength, sign of weakness, and what are the interest zones for some possible trading opportunities. And let's dive in right away through the technical analysis. But before, guys, want to talk about the world series of trading like I promised. We moved a few rankings up here throughout the last 24 hours in the top 20. We are above major big teams, okay? I remember Jalapeno Troop from last year. He's usually always in the top 20. Let's get above Jalapeno. Let's get to the top 10, guys. You still have a few days to register for the World Series of Trading. Remember that we are aiming to be in the top 10 to get a piece of the cake of the $10 million prize pool. Just join right over here with this direct link. And if you haven't signed up for Bybit, Make sure to join with the link down below. You've got a $500 position, okay, where you can withdraw the profits from the position that you do create, okay? If you can't trade on Bybit, you have Bluffing. That is the next link down below. You do get 10% cash back. The good thing about Bluffing, it's a no KYC platform, okay? Just with an email and a password, you're starting to trade in minutes. Let's dive in through the technical analysis, legends. Right over here, what do we have? Why is this such a crucial level of resistance? I got stopped out at break even from a position already yesterday. Did take some profit. Still holding one at break even on a short. There are some scalp longing opportunities, of course, that I want to un make you understand as well. But overall, um, you know, could we see higher levels? Could we have another attempt in breaking yesterday's highs? Well, we would want to take into consideration the different technical levels. Let me just get a fixed volume profile from the end of February till this range, right? We can see that we had the highest volume node. Of course, if we do count all of the price action of the entire range, the point of control is actually lower, right? But there is a high volume node here, nevertheless, okay? So we need to consider that high volume node. It is exactly slightly above $67,000. This is where the price is consolidating. It's getting a reaction throughout the last 24 hours. What we also have is the contracting diagonal, right? Where we are hitting the resistance, okay? We got the three peaks, very nice indeed. We've been forming three waves, three waves, three waves up, three waves down in the four, and now three waves here to the upside. Are we gonna just smash through here? No contracting diagonal. This is gonna end up being a double, one, two, one, two, and we just forming the third wave, okay? Right over here, and we're just gonna absolutely rip in the next coming days. Well, it is a possibility. Let's leave it that way, okay? However, I cannot deny that this level is resistance, point of control from range between March and August. We have three peaks. We're hitting a resistance here from this contracting diagonal. Of course, if this is a contracting diagonal, all right, then what we could expect is a major corrective move throughout the next coming days, even couple of weeks, right? Of course, this would be extremely bullish. This would be just the first initial wave, then the second wave, and then we're looking for a third wave to the end of the year smashing through all-time highs. So I wouldn't be too worried about a major pullback, even going to fifty-eight or $56,000. I would be incredibly bullish looking for signs of support here to look for the price to absolutely rocket to the end of the year, right? But however, that is higher time frame, right? This is the most probable scenario for the moment. If we start smashing through here, getting to $68,000, $69,000 very aggressively, could it still be a fake out? Could we take out that high from July at $70,000? Well, let's analyze the lower time frames, guys, and, uh, and just come to the conclusion of what is going on here on the 15-minute time frame, for example, and zoom in and talk about the local waves, right? We also have a weekly level slightly above us, okay? That has not been tapped. Anybody that is not aware of weekly levels, it is a weekly level close and open that we did have a couple of months back here, back in July, as you can see right there. We had kind of a doji candle and then this massive monthly, uh, weekly, sorry, red candle to the end of July, beginning of August, where we got that big major crash, okay? And we, we, we can see that this weekly level is just slightly above the highs that we created yesterday. 
that is sitting at $68,270. So is there still a possibility that this is going to continue the contracting diagonal resistance? We're just going to get one more leg up for all of those early shorters, right? Well, such as myself, but we did take profit on that movement down. Very important to always take profit. Are we going to manage to smash through that weekly level? Continue the contracting diagonal right over here. All right. Could that be possible? I have to say yes, guys. It is one of my major plans on slightly higher time frame for today and tomorrow. So I'm giving that to you right over here. We could definitely test the highs from yesterday. And I am looking at that weekly level potentially to fail to break out. That is my level that I would be interested to see what the price is doing. Because if we move fast to that level, we know that it could be a fast rejection as well. Just like yesterday, I mentioned with the Legends Trading Community, the 0.88 Fib here is a magical level. The resistance, okay, the fake out, 0.88 was our level of trigger to see if we we're going to reject from it. We did get that rejection of $2,000, beautiful for a nice scalp yesterday. So weekly level is the next level. Yesterday's highs would be the next level as well that I would be taking into consideration. Of course, this is if we do not create a lower high from this point, which is very much possible. Okay, so it is another plan. I'm still going to be considering short, maintaining that short, still you know, look at the price action here locally with the Legends trading community to see if that high is not going to be hit and we are going to form a lower high. Why is there a lower high here possible? OK, why do I think that is definitely possible? Well, just by looking at yesterday's price action. OK, we got a significant rejection. The price is bullish. We cannot deny that. OK, but if the price does claim this high, all right, that is the moment that I will be looking for that leg to the upside to break yesterday's highs, the weekly, maybe rocket and continue to the upside. This is the major level. If we get above this level, I would arguably discuss that there is a possibility in hitting $70,000. We do have a naked point of control, but I would be very, very cautious. That naked point of control is at 69,500. That is slightly below the highs from July. Okay, slightly below. Could it be that we just front run the highs and start rejecting very aggressively? It is another level, okay, of confluence that I would consider taking it as a rejection point. Get above it, not interested, start getting below it. I would trigger a potential scalp short. That is if we get above the weekly very successfully. So you might think, well, if you think that the price is actually going to break through, why don't we just long? Well, when we zoom out, like I explained, we do have the contracting diagonal. We do have that high volume node, right? It's very difficult to long these small little pullbacks. You need to take them as scalp because if you long in here to the upside, as we've pumped throughout the last few days, well, if you are not managing risk very, very well and you're believing that you're just going to form a higher low, you're using too much leverage. We got the big rejections, right? This $2,000 drop happened in less than one hour. So it's very difficult to manage risk. There are specific levels that I'm interested in, of course, on the lower time frames. Now, what would be the bearish case scenario? Well, this is an initial wave one. We formed three waves here. Could this be an ABC corrective structure? Just by taking out that high at fifty at $67,580, that will be already quite bullish for me saying, OK, we're going to claim the high. We're going to go to the weekly because I would not see this as a three wave corrective structure anymore. But there's still a chance as long as we maintain below this level, there is a possibility that we're forming a one, two, three, and we are starting a larger, higher time frame corrective structure. The price is bullish. The price is forming consistent higher lows, higher highs, and there is a chance that we're just going to smash through. So if we do so, I am looking at the highs. I'm looking at the weekly. I'm looking at the naked point of control because it's going to be very difficult to jump in a long position as we pumping, right? Looking for those resistance for the pullback. So on the bullish side, something that was mentioned in the legends, of course, hey, maybe this could definitely be an ABC flat structure from this point, right? We formed a ABC, very aggressive, okay? And right now we're just continuing the bullish momentum where we have a double one, two, one, two, and we just about to start the initial three, four, 
five, okay, from the third wave, right? We're just in the first one, two from a major third wave, and we actually going to get above 68,000 and maybe $69,000 successfully throughout the next coming hours. Definitely a possibility as long as we maintain above this low. So if we maintain above this low, this will be looking quite impulsive. Uptrend structure, double one, two, continuation to the upside. The moment we lose this low over here, I think that will be the first initial sign of weakness. And I would bet that this low will be taken because this will no longer look impulsive as you're losing that low. There's no one, two, one, two. Okay. This will likely be corrective as soon as you claim this low. And I will be looking for the price to hit this low right over here. Is there a possibility for a quick liquidity grab, swing failure pattern and a bounce? I am considering that long position as a scalp as well, guys. Not going to lie, okay? We are in bullish momentum. The analysis could be wrong. This could be a scalp long, and I could be proven wrong, and we're just going to continue rocketing here. So there are some levels for scalp long positions, okay? There's some more internal ones that I am eyeing very carefully with the Legends Trading community looking at CVD, looking at the reaction. If you want more of that, guys, if you want intraday scalping, day trading setups, you need to join the Legends Trading community because on YouTube, okay, we are monitoring the price action, looking at what could happen locally. The next move is the most important. Things can change very, very well for longs and shorts locally. And that you need to join the Legends Trading community, which is the first link down below, guys, where we are looking for day trading and scalping opportunities. However, we are very much looking at the data and the price action because we can cancel those orders very quickly if we do not like the volume, the CVD, right? Some some kind of divergence that could happen and we can cancel those orders. So I can say it here on YouTube and potentially it will not happen. So if you want that analysis, you want to join the Legends community. So sign of weakness, losing this low. If we do lose this low successfully, I will be targeting this low, potentially forming a one, two, three, and we're going to start a larger corrective structure for the next coming days. This for me is a crucial pivot that we need to maintain. And if we do break through from the highs and the weekly, then obviously we're just looking for higher levels. We get a reaction from yesterday's highs or the weekly. That is a zone that I would be speculating on a large corrective move. If we smash through the next level is the naked point of control, but just enjoy the price action going to the upside if we just smash through these levels. Be cautious with shorting a major bull market, guys. This is where people do get burnt, okay? Major level, this would be sign of weakness. Highs, we break through. Sign of strength, we reject from the highs, looking for a potential short. And this is what we got internally throughout the price of Bitcoin. And on the higher time frame, guys, this is crucial resistance. We got the contracting diagonal resistance trend line. We got the monthly naked point of control. We got the high volume node right there, point of control between March and August. This is resistance. The price could struggle very much. So I am interested in looking for those shorts at those specific levels, guys. If we smash through the levels, higher we go. Not much more to be said, guys. I'll be doing a live stream later on. Make sure to subscribe. We'll be going through internally some different opportunities and some altcoins such as Gala and potentially Solana because I'm asking for the votes on the Discord and we'll be doing a full analysis on these altcoins. Thank you and I'll see you on the live stream later.